So when someone asks me what streaming device I should get, I'd normally recommend getting an Apple TV because it's got everything. It's a complete package, though it's a little bit expensive. But recently I got my hands on Nvidia Shield and I've got favoritism, I'll tell you. For the uninitiated, Nvidia Shield TV is built on top of the Android TV interface, packing a Tegra 1X processor, three gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes or even 500 gigabytes of storage. It's the only Android TV I'd actually recommend because you can play PC games, I mean, sort of, if you've got a good streaming speed. And yeah, if you guys are thinking, despite it being an Android TV box, Nvidia Shield can actually play Amazon Prime videos just as well as Netflix. And if you're a proud owner like me, here's how you set up SmartDNS Proxy on the new Nvidia Shield. So if you haven't already, go check out SmartDNS Proxy and create a free trial account. Basically, you have to enter your email, address, name, and etc. There's no credit card required. Now in this case, I already have a SmartDNS Proxy, so I'll directly begin with the setup part. Go to Settings. Next, go to Networks. Find the Wi-Fi you're connected to or want to use SmartDNS with. And then, press on the Wi-Fi name. A new window will slide in, so scroll down to the IP settings and set it up using static instead of dynamic. Leave the IP address and gateway as it is, make sure the network prefix is set to 24. And under DNS1 and DNS2, enter the two IP addresses that you see on the screen just now, or you can find a complete list by clicking on the link in the description below of the video, or even the YouTube cards that might pop up. It's better to use the closest DNS server as primary and another one relatively close as your secondary. For instance, say if I'm in Australia, ideally I'd copy two DNS servers from Australia, but if there's only one available, I'd choose another one nearby like New Zealand. And once you've done that, tap the save button. Once you've saved the changes, you've successfully configured Smart DNS Proxy on your Android device. Next, from your computer browser, you need to activate your IP address in Smart DNS Proxy's database. You can do that by logging into your SmartDNS Proxy account from your computer or simply through your mobile browser. Once you've done that, you can stream block content on sites like Netflix and Hulu without any geo restrictions. Oh, by the way, just as Amazon Fire TV, Nvidia Shield is also capable of running SmartDNS Proxy VPN as both are based on Android. The setup can be a little tricky, so hear me out carefully. To install SmartDNS Proxy's VPN on Nvidia Shield TV, you'd have to download a browser from Play Store. I suggest downloading the Puffin TV browser as it's the best we've tested till now. Open Puffin TV and search for SmartDNS Proxy APK. From the search results, scroll down and find the APK and then tap on it to sideload the APK. Once you're done installing the SmartDNS Proxy's VPN app, you will still not see an icon of the app in the app drawer. That's because Nvidia Shield TV doesn't promote sideloading apps onto their app drawer. To fix this, you need to download another app. I know it's a bit of a hassle, but it's just one time thing. So go to Play Store and download another TV launcher. ATV launcher is the most suitable in most cases, so I'll go with that one. Once you're done downloading with ATV launcher, just open it up and scroll down to find SmartDNS VPN there. Tap on the icon to open it and use the right analog stick to select the server with the mouse pointer and then hit connect using the pointer. You will now be able to use SmartDNS VPN on Nvidia Shield. To test this, you can go to the browser and search for your IP address and boom, you can see your IP location has changed. How cool is that? So yeah, that's how you can set up SmartDNS Proxy on Nvidia Shield TV. It's pretty much an Android TV box, but with better optimization and gaming. It can handle like vampire, that's pretty nuts considering it's a small box like this. Even PS4 chugs along quite a bit in vampire. So yeah, let us know which video about Nvidia Shield you'd like us to cover. Maybe we could do games for Nvidia Shield that are actually really good, considering it supports full PC games, or even pit it against Apple TV. I'm Vamsi with SmartDNS Proxy, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.